Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to Mass Man is in R. It is your favorite presenter, Jeff Nino. And today we have a question we are going to be serving. Now, mind you, this question is on plane geometry. Okay. And the question says we should find the value of x given this diagram. But mind you, this line and this line, they are parallel lines. So how can we solve for x given this type of question or given this type of diagram? Now, this is what we are going to do. First, let's extend this line, okay? And then let's extend this parallel line also. All right, good. To have something like this, you know, it makes more sense in this way. Now, um, what we are going to do now is this. Here we have alternate angles. Um, here, here, here. Let us assume that here is um, y and let us assume that here is n okay we know these are not given but let's just give it to make the explanation more clear now from this point of view y is equal to 3x plus 20 y alternate angles alternate angles are equal all right alternate angles are equal to each other. Again, to get n now, we are going to use um, angle on a straight line. Alright, so it means n plus 4x plus 14 is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Sum of angles on a straight line. Alright, very simple. Good. Now, because we introduced n, it we are going to make n result just with the formula. And for us to do that, 4x and 40 has to go to the right hand side of the equation. And so it will be m is equal to 180 degrees. If plus 40 crosses, it becomes minus 40 degrees. And if plus 4x crosses, it becomes minus 4x. So m is equal to 180 minus 40 gives us 140 degrees minus 4x. Alright, now this is what we are going to do. Now, without wasting time, watch me, okay? Uh, now, we have something like this. We have some, from this diagram, I want to bring up something. We have something like this. Um, okay, yeah. Alright, um, dots, 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 dots. And then we have, okay, let's turn them here. And then we have this line. Okay, right. Now let's forget about the up, 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 up uh, straight line. Now we said here now is y, but what is y? 3x plus 20. And we said here is m, but what is m? 140. 140 minus 4x. And then we said here is angle x. All right. Now, this is what we are going to use. We are going to use the theorem that says the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the what? Two opposite interior angles. So, it means, what is, the, what is an exterior angle? An exterior angle is an angle that is formed outside a shape. The interior angles are formed inside the shape. So, the exterior angle now, which is 3x plus 20, is equal to the sum of the interior angles, which are x plus 140 minus 4x. All right, so here it comes, let us uh, take x to one side of the uh, equation and then a uh, constant to the other side of the equation. So it means x and minus 4x has to come to the left hand side. So if we do that, we're going to be having 3x. If x crosses, it becomes minus x. If minus 4x crosses, it becomes plus 4x equals to 140, all right? If plus 20 crosses, it becomes minus 20. Of course, we all know 3x minus x gives us 2x, and 2x plus 4x gives us 6x. Again, 140 minus 20 gives us 120. So, class, for us to get the value of x, means x has to be the subject of the formula. And for x to be the subject of the formula, we have to divide both sides by 6, all right? So, when 6 comes to our 6, we have x is equal to 120 divided by 6 gives us 20 degrees. So this 
is the answer to the question. You see how simple it could be. Now, um, if this is the first time you are joining us on our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and also help us share our videos because that is the only way we can get to others. So to meet again in our next class, thank you for watching today's episode. Bye for now.